Hey there everyone, Atayish here and welcome to another video of the Flutter. Now, so far we have done pretty good job and our application is looking decent, not doing much, but it's decent. Now this is almost a perfect time that we learn how to modularize our app so that in case we need to change anything in future, we can do that in just one file and the changes appear in almost all files. So we're going to be doing that. I hope you are following along with all the tutorials here and we have created this file app.dart which is inside the source app.dart. Now we're going to learn how to create this stateless widget. Now since our application is not storing any data and is not countering for any data, we can use this stateless widget. And whenever you create a stateless widget, there is a syntax that you, ha you have to follow because it extends the stateless widget means there is a class already defined stateless and you have to use the functionality of that already built in class. So how we do that, it's actually really simple. First, it has a ret return type, so it's going to return a widget. Returning a widget in the stateless widget class is kind of uh, very obvious because it is exactly what we are doing. Now after that, you have to call up a method which is build. Now this build method takes a parameter or an argument and that we have to pass. We'll talk about that probably a little bit later and that is actually context that we have to pass on. Now once we have this, then we have to return something obviously. So we're gonna go for return and what we have to return now. Now let's go back into our main dot dot and we can see that we have this big gigantic uh, widget here which is material app. It includes a couple of things, for example a scaffolding which includes uh, a simple floating action button and a bar and some colors in that and all of that. So we would like to move or shift all of that here. Now it could be really have been easy but we have played a little bit with the customization of the color as well. So first and foremost we are going to move them here because we don't need them right now. So we can select and cut them from here and we can just go to our app.dart and we can define them inside up here. Now it is better that we define them inside the class although you can define them into a global variable as well but I think it's better that we define them in the class here. Surely it's a little bit arguable that where we should import these colors probably in main.dart or app.dart inside the class or as a global or in a separate file. We'll come back on to the later, uh, later on in this series but right now just paste them into inside the class. Now we're going to go back and we are going to select this entire material widget. I can just come up here, select all of that and hit a cut there. Yes, we want to do a cut there. Now go into the main.dart app.dart and we are going to return that and after the return just paste that here okay so there we go and make sure you save that so automatically the formatting is going to kick in and there we go so it looks pretty good and uh, right now we are not reloading our app because our app is going to break down if we are going to do so so this is all good so we have modularized uh, all of our things here now we're going to go into main.dart and obviously we don't need to declare our app in advance so we can just remove that line and uh, we can just call a method here so instead of that we can just call an app here just like that but it's not going to work right now the reason being is that now we are calling something from another file and we haven't imported that file just like in the package we have imported this we need to learn how we can import that now there are a couple of ways how you import things in Flutter. First and foremost is this package. That means it comes up from a package library of uh, the material which is pre-cooked up for us. It's not something that we have created. In case you want to do that, it's almost similar. If you have followed along in any of my JavaScript videos on YouTube, it's almost similar to that. It's really simple in case you have worked with any other language as well. So what you have to do, first and foremost, you have to go into source because the default, how it looks into the file is inside the lib. So whatever you create inside the lib, it can look into for that directly. That's kind of a root folder for that. And then you can just go ahead and ask for app.dart, which is our created custom file. Once I save that, everything is going to look exactly same, but now our main.dart file is much more cleaner. So what we're going to do is make sure you have saved the file, come back here at the bottom and hit shift R so that we can have a hot reload here. 
and what we are expecting here is no changes if your application gets breakdown make sure you watch the video again and probably there is some mistake in just cutting copying and pasting that's it nothing much a big deal your application should look exactly same but it is now a modularized application and whatever we can create in the future we can actually put that into a separate file can call that just like exactly what we did in the app dot dot and it is much more easier approach and a modern approach to design an application so I think that's it. That's all what we wanted to do in this video. We have now learned a little bit about modularization and surely we're going to be working with this project now. It is much more cleaner, much more understandable and for sure much more readable. So that's it for this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel in case you want to have more such videos. Make sure you let me know in the comment section as well. That's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.